Hi everyone, my name is Elena and I'm the founder of Kick Consulting. We're a silvermonday.com partner in Australia and I'm here to talk to you about zero integration with monday.com. A lot of our clients come to us and want to integrate zero and Monday and I'll show you the two most frequently used scenarios uh, that we do for our customers as well as talk about what are the possible problems that our customers experience and how we deal with this. So the two most frequently used scenarios is where an invoice that's created in zero will get populated into Monday and then synchronizing the status between zero and Monday. So as you can see, it's mostly information coming from zero into Monday. Now there are other scenarios that we also do for our clients where the information from Monday gets populated into zero. I'll show that in a different video. Uh, so keep uh, following us for more um, information coming. So here, what we do is we use a, a third party integration called Zapier um, to create those uh, integrations. There are some apps available within Monday store that uh, you can get that will help you set these things up, but they do have an implementation cost and upfront implementation from what I know. So you can either uh, mimic this yourself, contact us or work out what is the best um, solution for you. So um, Zapier also is a third party integration tool. Uh, if you don't know, there are two, Zapier and Make. Uh, Zapier, uh, to be able to create this integration, you do have to have as a subscription, uh, a basic, I think the second level subscription. One second, here we go. Uh, the uh, starter subscription is sufficient. The reason being is because you're allowed to do multiple steps and uh, you can use a premium app. So Zero is a premium app. If you're going to use Zapier for more than that, you may have to go to professionals. Okay, so what we have in here is the SAP that is triggered from zero, where there is a new sales invoice. It waits for one minute just to make sure all the information is in the right places. And then it takes the information from, um, from uh, zero. And as you can see, there is a filter here. Only continue if um, if this invoice number does not exist. Why we have this step is in case in case it's a duplicate or previous draft invoice. Um, yes, yeah, so this is how it is. Then what we do if it's a new invoice, it continues the step. And what it then does is it uses the zero statuses over here to mimic to statuses in our Monday. So you can see they're different. So we've created this table. And then what it does, it creates an item in uh, Monday. So I'll show you this example. So here I have a new invoice. We press approve. And then um, what I do is I'll send the invoice. So hit send. Now what we'll see in here is there is the zap runs. And if we refresh, it will show us that the zap is actually running. It's been triggered and it started to run. Voila. So we can actually walk into it and see where we're at. So at the moment, it's just being delayed and waiting. So um, what it will do is in a couple of minutes, it will search our Monday board. This is our Monday invoicing board and searching for me as a client, and it will appear here. As I can show you, this has now been a successful step. And you can see create item in Monday. Here we go, I found it. So this is the invoice 0177 that now appears in here. As you can see, this is my testing invoices from another video. And you can see that it pulls in quantity, amount, GST, if you do have GST. And one of them is exchange rate. So we also created a scenario in Make to um, convert currency based on the currency um, conversion rate today. 
reason being is we have a lot of global clients. So here we have um, amount in AUD, but also exchange rate. And as you can see, client in zero also matches up to our clients and zero ID. This board then connects to our project board. So uh, client and open projects, this will connect to the um, open project or the client so we can see it on the global level 360 view. Now, that's all good and well, but uh, I haven't showed you how the status is synchronized. So this uses this other recipe where when there is a new payment uh, in zero, and that could be a manual payment, what it does is it takes the invoice number and searches uh, in monday.com for that invoice number. And if it's a success, then it updates the status. Okay, so why don't we try that? So over here, let's record the payment. It was paid today, paid to an account, add payment. Voila, it's been marked as paid. And now also you can see it shows the date paid. So we know exactly when something has been paid. Now, the question that everyone always asks is what are the issues that we experience within Xero? integration uh, the issues generally are is uh, having to include a lot of steps and having this knowledge um, not all information can be e exported out of zero um, and if you for example changing an invoice so if the invoice is created but then it gets changed later you need to have a separate recipe counting for that so you really before you create any automations and integrations we really suggest sitting down and and working through different scenarios so for example what i've showed you here does not cater if you amend the invoice if the invoice gets amended this will not sync with your monday you need to have a separate recipe that looks through changes in the invoices right if uh the invoice is void in zero this recipe is do not cater to it. You need to create another recipe. And that's usually where we run into a lot of issues. Duplicated invoices, not thinking through scenarios, uh, or trying to get things done that are not working. That's Monday and Zero integrations for today. I will have another video that will talk about Azure Projects time tracking that integrate and its integration with Monday. And uh, join us when you get a chance.